Fulton County Prosecutor Joe Dieters says this man, Andrew Weber, sold drugs to a Terrace Park teen the night a driver hit and killed the teen as he walked along Wooster Pike. Nine News reporter Bryce Anslinger is live at University Hospital with why experts say the drugs Colin Barton took most likely played a role in his death. Bryce? Well, Clyde, prosecutors say Barton was high on psychedelic mushrooms the night he was hit and killed. And experts here at University Hospital say the hallucinogens they carry can uh, cause do things to the mind that lead to tragedies like the death of Barton. And the problem is we don't we really can't pinpoint where Colin was walking. Hamilton County Prosecutor that Joe Dieter says he doesn't have the evidence to charge the man that was driving the car that hit 16-year-old Colin Barton, but he is going after the man that allegedly sold him drugs the night he died. But we were determined to find out who had sold these drugs to him. Dieter says 20-year-old Andrew Weber sold Barton the magic mushrooms he was high on when he was hit and killed while walking along Worcester Pike March 18th. The reality is we may not know exactly what happened that night. We don't know where Colin was walking. We can't pinpoint that area. Could have been, could have been the middle of the road. We don't know. University of Cincinnati professor Dr. Gary Gadelsky is an expert on how drugs affect the brain. He says people high on mushrooms lose touch with reality. It's very likely, depending on how, how, what his plasma concentrations of the drug were, that he may not have known that he was even in the road or where he was walking. Dr. Gadelsky says walking along a road like Worcester Pike is the last place you should be while high on the chemical compound found in magic mushrooms. Bright lights take on sounds. Bright lights he may have thought was a spaceship, uh, for all we know. So it's very unlikely that he knew exactly where he was or what was coming at him. Now, the toxicology report also found marijuana in Barton's body the night he was found, and uh, Weber has been indicted on four counts of drug trafficking. Bryce Onslinger, 9 News, Coryville. Bryce, thanks.